I am so dead. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video documenting what has to be one of the hottest things I've ever done in my whole entire life. If you have been watching my recent videos, then you'll know I am currently traveling around three countries in Southeast Asia. And this was my attempt at running the 42 kilometers of Phuket Marathon. I hope you guys enjoy this video and we'll dive straight into the vlog. This is the official Phuket Marathon vlog. We are leaving to go to Laguna. Today it is Saturday. We're in Phuket obviously and we've just had like lunch really early. We had breakfast really early. We had lunch a kind of usual coconut water, good for the electrolytes, fruit and then rice, tofu, veggies. That was our lunch at 11 a.m. And now we're basically packed. We have uh, all of our stuff. Yeah. This is just for like literally under 24 hours when we're leaving Love D. This is all the Holly stuff. <laughs> Mostly mine. And yeah, we're just going to stay in Laguna and do the marathon basically and come home. How are you feeling? Well, you put it so simply though, to be honest. Yeah. I think it's a bit more complicated. We've got to do a 5k warm up. Yep. Uh, when we get to Laguna. To test the temperature and humidity, yeah, right? To test the yeah. But to be fair, like, we kind of know that it's going to be quite bad, isn't it? Oh yeah, um, we've been looking at um, the temperature and the humidity and uh, it's just going to be hot. But we're gonna I mean it's going to be alright, it's just like we're very competitive, we yeah. like setting times but yeah. <laughs> we're just not going to get the time we want I think. I think we have to come to terms with that before we yeah. do that. Yeah, I think we do, I think we do. I'm scared, that's how I feel, I'm scared. Yeah, the nerves are definitely setting in. Yep. So the marathon itself was on the 11th of June and we'd basically been in Thailand for a month at that point and we'd been running in the heat and training for the marathon but running in Asia has just been incredibly difficult because it's been super hot and just incredibly humid. So the race itself was in Laguna on Phuket Island and we were staying in Patong so we just had to go north and this was only like a half an hour car trip. This is gonna be crazy! Start line! Right there. So this was the race expo. Every race normally has this the day before where you basically go and pick up your race number. So I was number 1009 and this race also gave you a singlet that you could potentially wear on the run if you wanted to. So we collected our race packs, they checked your time chip for you and then you could just look around at some of the stalls that were at the race expo. The best thing about this marathon weekend is gonna be the accommodation. <laughs> I look like such a state, but we've just arrived in uh, the Diamond Cove Resort. We paid 40 pounds between us. This is like quite a bougie hotel in Thailand and it's in Phuket, which is quite a touristy area in Laguna, which seems quite touristy. I shall show you around, this place is Wonderful. Ow. Just need to go sort my hair out. One second. Everywhere else must have sold out because of the marathon, right? Yeah. yeah, we saw like not that many people. It wasn't that busy at the race expo and the collection thing. Um, bad news, we don't have any gels. They didn't sell sports gels, which is... Um, they were selling friggin' moisturizer. They were selling sun cream and stuff. It's like, what? why weren't you selling sports gels? Anyway, we're gonna deal with that like now, but we just wanted to come here to check in and I'll show you guys around. Um, we got a deluxe room or something. <gasps> Is that the singlet? Wow. Okay, that's gonna be the best thing of the race weekend. Like how cool that is. Look how soft it is. Oh wow, do you think you'll wear it? Um, anyway, this is the uh, room. So you come in here, we're in building number two. We didn't realize we have a full on and fully equipped kitchen. You know, we have a fridge, a freezer, we have uh, pots and pans and everything. Like, look at this, um, microwave, kettle. Like, this is amazing. And then we have a TV and a little sofa. And here we have the bedroom. <gasps> Ooh. Very tight though. Is it? Yeah. Around it's, the arm is quite tight. Yeah, it looks like it's cutting quite um quite sharply. Yeah. 
But wow, look at you. Ready to run. <laughs> this is our bed. We have a wardrobe. Um, I don't know what view we have. It doesn't look that great. But um, this place has... Um, what does it have? It has a pool and it has a gym. It has a sauna. It has everything. It even, sauna. Yeah, it even has a free shuttle to the beach and the supermarket. But we're literally checking out tomorrow at 12. And oh, um, we got breakfast though. Yeah, yeah, breakfast. This is just the stuff we've dumped here. And then finally, this is the bathroom. Um, we have a massive shower. Like, look at the size of that. And then a sink, you know. Focus camera, thank you. And a toilet. I think it's a great place to say, sorry. I have to redo my hair again. But yeah, so no gels is actually very bad news. Can you actually run a marathon without any gels? Yes, but it's gonna be hot. Oh, this is my little pack. I am number 1009. Look! Should I try it on? Yeah, but... One stick. This is me. I don't get why they make it a proper sink of it. It's just like a really shortcut here. It's too wide here, but anyway. This is me. I'm not running in this. Oh, oh well. Cool, eh? <laughs> it's very bright. I like the colour. Mm. It's very good. But yeah, what's our plan for all gels? So we're gonna go to uh, a running shop called Everything Running, which is I think is five minutes away from here. Any gels will do at this point. This is definitely an us thing to do. Very much so. Like, you know. Well, I mean, we tested gels in Chiang Mai and then we were like, oh, we'll buy more. We were going to get them from Lazada, which is an online shop, but then they wouldn't have come in time to Phuket. They could have, but it was a gamble. It was a gamble, but it also said on the expo that there would be sports gels. Right. And there weren't sports gels, so that's kind of annoying. But anyway, that's what we're going to do now. It's going to be tough. The race. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. I feel tired. I feel so tired right now. I Same. Feel I was sleeping in the boat on the way here. It's because it's hot and raining. I know. I'll just show you guys everything that was in the race pack. So you got this bag, very nice. I like the logo Thanks. to be fair, and the colours is really nice. This is my number. That's your number. One hundred four. Your number is so cool. And then our tops, and then they give you tons of vouchers. Why is yours pink? Is it because you're a woman? I don't know. Wait, you're block A. I'm also block A. I think it might just be female male. Is this the day before or something? Yeah, this past the party happens today. But I think after the race, because it says this. After the race, that's food. You get food after the race because it says, you know, there's a symbol for it and then you get a medal and you get a finishers t-shirt. So by this point it was like mid afternoon and as I said we didn't have any energy gels still so we just walked to the running shop that we'd found so we could hopefully try and get the energy gels that we would need during the this race. This is our final call for help, <laughs> cry for help, please have energy gels, please. They have goose, literally this is a miracle at this point. I was just so incredibly shocked that they actually sold the energy gels we were looking for and at that point I was contemplating running the race without any gels. So we have our gels, oh my god, I actually didn't think we were gonna get gels. But we found um, goo gels, which is actually what we wanted as well from E-Run. We have new flavours as well, like I'm excited to eat those. Um, and now we're in our favourite tops, we found a top supermarket. Supermarket? Supermarket to get food. We want some carbohydrates. Lots of carbohydrates. So I've just laid everything out. Classic. Pre race. Wow. It looks good, it looks doesn't it? Good. This is the first time I've seen like a layout of clothes in person. I know. This is what, what we're gonna life. do every time now. We also over there have our trainers obviously and then our um hydration vests. So it's not everything, but it's mostly everything. This is Sheesh. my stuff and these are the gels I got. So basically we have three non-caffeinated ones each and then three caffeinated ones each. Um, so six in total. I'm so excited to try some of these flavors. Well, the for the birthday game, yeah. the two, you free. This is the one I'm used to having. I've never tried the strawberry and banana. That is uh, non-caffeinated cola. Sounds very good. That is caffeinated. Tutti Frutti is caffeinated. And then the birthday cake is non-caffeinated. So that's kind of the situation. I am so happy that shop had them. You have six. You have slightly different ones, but... Kind of similar. We actually look really organized, even though like an hour ago we were not organized at all. Um, well, 
organized. Yeah, my brain's not organized as well. I haven't mentally prepared for this race at all. We're making pasta. And then um, this is my hydration vest, my Osprey one. Would definitely recommend this. I mean, it is starting to smell a lot. <laughs> Lol. But yeah, my heart rate monitor, I'm not sure if I'm wearing that yet. This is uh, your hydration vest. You have a Solomon one. You actually got this out here, right? I do. We got it in uh, Chiang Mai. Yeah, yeah was, Chiang, Mai. Store in Chiang Mai. I know, it's actually really cool. But you're actually gonna decide whether you're wearing yeah, the, the belt. Caramel belt. Because I feel like uh, I don't want to heat my core. Mm. Because the belt, you know, the hydration bikes is right in your chest. Yeah. Half the time it could incrementally increase your or decrease your heat dissipation. So. Yeah, exactly. I'm definitely wearing the vest. And then our trainers are in uh, this uh, bag here. Race shoes. Fuel cells, these ones. I love these shoes. You're running in. Vapor flies. Whoa, my hair. So the event itself did host a pasta party that I showed you guys on that voucher. But we basically had our own pasta party. We just made a big plate of pasta with tomato sauce and peas. Very plain and simple, but basically just full of carbohydrates and ready to run the marathon the next day. Smashed a 2k. We've got to run uh, 40 kilometers more tomorrow. I was going to say we need to run double that. Uh, we actually we need, need to, to run, run 20 that. more times. Or <laughs> yeah. We need to run a lot more but anyway a little shake out run walk. We both have headaches so we're not feeling too good. This is our entrance to our room somewhere up there and the pool is around there but we're probably not going to use it sadly we were literally at this accommodation for not even 24 hours but we got back from our run we had showers and basically just had a bowl of cereal before we got ready to go to bed they give you dressing gowns in this place it's so good um diamond cove thank you very much it's exactly 7 p.m which is not too bad we're gonna wake up at half midnight it's just not gonna be ideal but um final few words before bed basically um my stomach and digestion is not great it kind of got better and then it's not that good again and yeah my headache's kind of gone is your headache gone yeah mine's like well, still i mean it's there yeah I feel like if i bounce around i'll feel it yeah exactly like it's still there a bit but it's not as bad as it was this afternoon when we were driving to Laguna. I'm just gonna lie in bed and think for a bit about what I actually want to do during this race but I feel like there are lots of variables that could throw you off. Yeah so I don't know I'm gonna go in with a race plan and um, look at the course map just assess everything one more time. It's like 7 p.m like I don't even know if the sleep is gonna be great but Rest is better than nothing, you know. Any final few words? Uh, goodbye, work. <laughs> Have fun without me. We've decided on the uh, the vest instead of the pack. Top free boy. Yes, yes. I'll just be running in my dressing gown. I'll miss my alarm and I won't wake up, you know. <laughs> Woo! Look at you go. Me in my dressing gown. They didn't provide you with slippers which I was a bit disappointed about because I thought a dressing gown and slippers would be quite a nice look. Apparently it's also undulating hills, we were told, by yeah, someone in guy, this pool that shop. Guy, that guy was like, yeah, no, it's not an easy course. But... Yeah, it's not an easy course apparently, but this is the map. Mm, can't really see. This is uh, what we're doing tomorrow. We are the full marathon, so we're orange. We go like round here, all the way up, then you come back down and then you finish where you started. Um, yeah, that's the elevation. It does not look nice. I'm officially signing out now. Goodbye. Now, when I tell you it was a struggle to wake up at half midnight the next day, oh my gosh, it was so hard, you guys. But I woke up still with a bit of a headache, although we just made our usual oats in the morning. So just oats with banana and some peanut butter. And we really weren't rushed at all because we'd left enough time so we could just get ready and chill a bit. We could stretch, roll out our muscles, get ready and just do everything we needed to do before the event. <laughs> I'm so scared. Good morning, you guys. It is uh, 2.30 a.m. I'm pretty much mostly ready. Obviously, the race starts at 4. We're going to leave at like 20 past 3 to get there. The number is kind of covered by my hydration vest, but 
I think it will just hold it in place and you can still see that I am 1009. Every time I do a run at the moment, I have a coffee and it makes me go to the toilet. Like the toilet. This one hasn't done anything. I just, I'm so confused. I think it's because it's super early. It's gonna come out somewhere on the course. My toes are all taped up. Um, I'm gonna put socks on, obviously, in my trainers. Definitely not running in flip flops. These are uh, rehydration tablets. We're just gonna drink that before we go. Um, it's this berry SIS, basically, just to increase our electrolyte levels before we start. And then we put bottled water in the freezer to take with us to like keep us cool before the start. But anyway, my hair is plaited. It's not gonna stay like that. Oh my gosh, it looks so bad. I'm gonna take it out of the plait and it's gonna be a frizzy mess the whole time. So we're gonna be a running bush today. Our first race in uh, Asia is a marathon, which is probably the hardest distance you can run. <laughs> it's completely pitch black, um, except where you have light. And it's like so humid right now. I thought it was going to feel cooler. We both thought it was going to feel quite cool because it's like 3.30 a.m. Anyway, we're walking to the start line, which will be 15 minutes. Then we'll have about 15 minutes before we actually start. I've got wee nerves. I've got all the nerves. Everything. I am so scared. We welcome back to the start our defending champions from last year. So as you can clearly see, I was very nervous and I was just trying to like put the iced water on my head to calm down my headache a bit still. The start line and the countdown was so exciting. <laughs> Okay, so we went off flying. Actually, we had quite a bit of adrenaline and it was really hard to hold ourselves back. The first 4K, we felt really good. We were running at like just over five minute pace and sometimes a bit under that even. But to be honest with you, I really don't know when I'm gonna learn my lesson and when I'm actually gonna know to not run too fast at the start because I always make this mistake. Smell for the camera. That was at 8K, well, 8K-ish. It's like a massive U-turn. And I also just splashed myself with water. It felt pretty good. Yeah, I wasn't lying. I felt pretty good at the start, as I said, but my heart rate was way too high, although I couldn't hear me breathing super heavily because I had my music quite loud and I was just focusing on trying to move as quickly as possible through the race. We're at 18K. This is so hard. We're coming up to the halfway, <coughs> which is the turnaround. Um, I've swallowed two flies and I can't cough them up. It's gross. Um, how are you? Mm. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, halfway in it. Yeah, sunrise is at like just gone six. Um, so, trying to like get as much done before the sun comes. The humidity though is like crazy. We like walk through every aid station and I chuck water on myself, I drink, get some sports drink. And that's it. So I was still breathing very heavily and once your heart rate spikes, especially in the heat and the humidity of Thailand, it's really hard to bring it back down. So yeah, at this point I had a heart rate of about 180 beats per minute probably. So it was way too high because of the adrenaline. And as I said, I started off way too fast. That's the turn. And then you go straight down for 30K and then 12k to the finish. It's so tough, you guys. Ah, I'm actually dying. Obviously, you have to be physically fit to run a marathon, but you also have to be so strong mentally because it's super challenging to keep moving yourself forwards even when it gets really hard. 
cannot appreciate the views of Thailand, even though I am dying. And um, I have a stitch as well. The gels are making me feel sick. Just not good. But we've just gone through 23K. Yeah, so at this point, everything for me started to go downhill. I started to slow down. As I said, I felt really sick. I couldn't stomach any of the gels and it was just getting incredibly tough. Thank goodness, aid station. Thank you. Oh. I am so dead. You're right. You go, you go. It's on now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, stick under my armpits. I don't want to go. Uh, okay, come on, hi. Come on. Station. Oh. Oh. Now obviously this was my race but something I am so grateful for was having Angelo right by my side pretty much the whole way through because it was so motivating running this race pretty much together the whole time. I feel so sick. I'm so sick. The scenery is beautiful. I just can't appreciate it right now. I am actually gone. Like, I just can't run. Four hours just passed us. I, I do not care about my time anymore. Oh, 29K. Oh. And there's another hill. Oh, come on legs. Oh, literally. Um, can't do this. Now if I give you one piece of advice for running a marathon, it's not to do what I just did then. Don't tell yourself that you can't do it because at this point it was even harder mentally because I was just thinking quite negatively and I was really hitting a low point in the race. I need an aid station really badly. You guys, this is horrific. <laughs> And that's not an understatement. There's just so many hills. I know. And they're long too. They're like a kilometer long. I know. Oh, this is what we're running through. And uh, I'm just like hobbling. It's like mountain hills, basically. I know, my knees, my hips, my feet. I just can't run. Mind you, it's 30 degrees. Yeah. 85% humidity. Oh, 33, my watch says. The next aid station, I'm just drenching myself. Um, <laughs> Not that it's gonna help my legs, but yeah. That periphery stuff is really good. Yeah, yeah, we got sprayed at an A station. It's like some uh, cooling spray that literally it activates like in a few minutes. Yeah. It's so good. You so feel, good. You feel such a breeze. We will finish this. Even oh, if no. you know we walk run. Walk. I don't care. We're not gonna look now, it's uh nine kilometers right? nine kilometers under 10k oh my that god so difficult. <laughs> it's so hard i thought it was gonna be hard but it's like a thousand you, times yeah. harder i don't think you can ever like explain the difficulty no. before actually experiencing i know it. i think we went off too fast i'm not we gonna lie definitely because i was i was trying to like keep 510 yeah and we did for like 25k yeah we held a good pace and then just hit us yeah, it was just the, too many hills. I know. So, we're just chilling through Laguna right now. So, we've decided we are walking to the finish. <laughs> we're going downhill um, now. Yeah, we're going downhill. Our legs are just gone. Um, and uh, I just feel so sick. So I feel just... fine. My legs are dead. Holly yeah. feels sick and my legs are dead. Yeah, <laughs> so we're just going to um, have a nice casual stroll to the finish line. That's going to be our I long run down. The finish. Oh, I just feel so sick right now. I just I can't stomach really... anything. <laughs> Even water is just like a struggle. Anyway. 
It's been a lovely run. <laughs> it really hasn't. It was really good up until 25k. Yeah, 25k was great, and then everything just went Blast. downhill. Here we are, walking through Laguna. I think we have like under 4k left. So. Yep. So I think yep. we got 4.2k actually. 4.2k. Not bad. We are so close. How are you doing? You alright? I'm not good. You're not good. We just went downhill and almost collapsed walking. I'm laughing. <laughs> it's so uh, funny how much it hurts. It is actually painful just walking. I'm not even joking. This is uh, the finish though. It's quite nice. Uh, I uh, still feel very sick. Um, but we're so close to finishing. There are literally people taking pictures of you as well every 500 meters. I'm just crippled. Look at this view though. Love the music. <laughs> Look what my watch says 42.23. I am done. But apparently, I'm very ahead. <laughs> oh, I need the ambulance. Look. True. That's what I need. For you, yep, they're coming for me. Please pick me up. I really need help. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god, my legs. <laughs> so, this is how the race basically finished. As I said, we ran up to about 33 kilometers. We then walked 9k, and then right at the end, we tried to start running again. But my legs were honestly so tired. I felt so crippled just trying to run to the finish line. But this moment will be something I never forget finishing my first ever race in Southeast Asia in Thailand and my first ever marathon in the hottest and the most humid climate I've ever run in, in my life. So I've grown up always wanting to challenge myself and to see what my body is capable of and this has just been a perfect example of me trying to do that and although it's so hard and tough in the moment, I feel so, so happy and just so proud of myself afterwards that my body carried me that far and even though it didn't go quite to plan, I still had the best time. I don't even know what to say about that run, that race. That was a run yeah that was a run oh, like the moment i decided it was a run was at like 33 kilometers um at that point i was gone i felt sick when i was running my feet my legs my quads um we were approaching injury territory so honestly <laughs> the hardest thing i've ever done in my life without any doubt in that statement at all oh, i'll try and set up for you guys ah <sighs> I, I've just, I've never felt sick like that before. I couldn't stomach any of the food after the race. Like, it looked pretty good. Um, Angelo had some, like, noodles and rice, but I just, I just can't stomach food right now. The sickness was awful. Like, I was burping from 33k onwards. Even when we were walking, I was just burping, and I felt like I needed to throw up. I don't know why. I feel like it might have been because I was dehydrated or something was off. We just take off this other shoe. <laughs> Oh. They look good, actually. My feet, yeah. Out. My feet are not that bad. Ooh, look at this pool. Mm. Wow. It's very nice. I wish we were here for longer, but... We're going to see if we can get some breakfast. Finishes at 10. It's currently 9.54. Oh, I can't walk. I want to jump on that thing. Yep. 
I'm gonna float on that. Now, sadly, because we had the checkout, I didn't have time to actually float on that in the swimming pool, but we did make it in time to have some breakfast at the hotel. I couldn't actually stomach that much food still, so I had something and some of the food that my body actually wanted. We then went back up to our room, I had a shower, we packed everything away so that we could check out and then move back to Patong on the island. And then because this video is actually quite long, I thought I would give you a full review of the race in my next video. So for now, I'll just say I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and watching me struggle through the 42 kilometers of Phuket Marathon. But I had the best time, as I said. Definitely like this video if you did enjoy it. Comment down below, subscribe if you are new and you want to stick around. I will leave you with the bloopers as always and speak to you very soon in another video. Bye guys! <laughs> Every other day I organize it's like studying for an exam. I'm gonna be studying a course map. I'm very cozy in my dressing gown. This is a summary of how I feel right now. My hair looking like this. The wind has been crazy, like full on blowing. I don't know if that will be a good thing tomorrow. Like it will be a good if it's behind you. Behind you yeah. But you don't want it like blowing. Against you, yeah. yeah. Is that called a tailwind? A tailwind is pushing you forward. What? Is a tailwind when it pushes you forward? No, it's when it's uh, shrinking. Oh, we don't want a tailwind then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any wind. <laughs> the only wind that's gonna come is from my, my bomb. <laughs> from my bomb. <laughs>